You know, the funny thing is when we talk about Navy Federal Credit Card, people talk, people want to share with you secrets on how to be approved, on how to be approved with bad credit, fair credit, but nobody talks about pre-approval, how to be pre-approved. So in today's conversation, I want to spill all the beans you need to have, okay? I want to speak about Navy Federal Credit Card pre-approval secrets that nobody told you all those years. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. Now, let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to speak to you about Navy Federal credit card pre-approval secrets that nobody told you all those years. First things first, direct deposit. Setting direct deposit into a Navy Fed account boosts your chances of getting a pre-qual offer, a pre-qualification offer. This is really important. Yeah, nobody told you all those. Uh, nobody told you the importance of a direct deposit. People think about, well, you know, I need to have direct deposit. It's good for my banking relationship. Yeah, it is good for your banking relationship, but so is it for your uh, Navy Federal credit card pre-approval. See, what happens here is that when you set direct deposit into a Navy Fed account, you are doing three things, what we call the magical three, the magical trifecta. You are corroborating your pay. So, you know, every month, every week, or every two weeks, you are making $5,000 or $3,000 or $2,000. When you tell Navy Fed that you are making $2,000 and they, they see the proof, they see proof of that because money is coming in every two weeks, then you are confirming your pay without even saying anything because they see the money. You also confirm the frequency of your pay, how often you're paid, okay? So people are paid on a monthly basis or weekly basis or bi-weekly basis. So if they see a direct deposit, a, a transfer, a wire transfer from uh, from your employer every two weeks, then they know that you are being paid uh, every week or every two weeks. Now, you might be thinking this is a trivial. It's not trivial because if you are being, if you are paid every week or every two weeks, that tells the Navy Fed that you have liquidity coming in. Okay, you have cash coming in. In other words, if you are not able to pay your balance by a certain date, they know that you are being paid every two weeks anyway. So you get the cash to to uh, to to actually make good on the missed payment that you you have had. And the same goes for overdraft payments. Okay, very important. So the third thing is your employer. So you are verifying vis-a-vis -vis Navy Fed your employer because that ACH debit or that ACH credit is coming from a company. So that will be your employer or maybe the payroll company that they are using. So long story short, when you set direct deposit into a Navy Fed account, you are confirming not only your pay, you are confirming the frequency of your pay, but you also confirming your employer. So Navy Fed does not need to ask for an employer verification letter anymore. Okay. Make sure that you have a checking and savings account at a minimum with Navy Fed. Okay. And you can have the wire transfer, you can have the direct deposit into a savings account or into a checking account. Depends on you. So money, 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 money. Boss, please do me a favor. I want you to set a direct deposit into your Navy Fed account. It doesn't have to be uh, 50%. It doesn't have to be 40%. It doesn't have to be 100%. It can be 25% of your pay, but that's something. The second thing you need to do if you are trying to get pre-qualified for a Navy Fed credit card is your income. You want to update your income information occasionally in NFCU records. This is important. I mean, think about it. When you started as a Navy Fed member, you probably put some, some income number, right? And that, that's, that's probably, that was probably a few years ago. So let's say you put 25 grand when you started and today you are making 50 grand, twice as much, or you are making 75 grand, three times as much. But have you updated your income information? Because they don't, they're not tracking your ass. They have no idea if you are making more money or less money. It's you. It's up to you to actually prove to them that you are making more money. 
and please make sure that you are proven it okay you want to update your income online over the phone or at at a branch and ask them ask them if they have updated your records so whenever you do this make sure you know why you know why because navy feds has an algorithm that takes your income into a, into account when sending out prequal offers you might be thinking why am i not, why am i not getting any prequal offer it's because you haven't updated partially of course you have not updated your income information okay the the algorithm has to actually have the right income data to see if you qualify for a pre-qualification or pre-approval offer okay and when you talk to a loan rep i mean loan rep a credit card rep at the branch or over the phone please bring proof of income you want to bring proof of pay raise you know if you have had a, a pay increase you want to bring the proof of it. You, it this could be your w2 this could be your most recent pay stub this could be your bank statements showing direct deposit okay this could be uh, your 1099 if you're self-employed but it's really important to to show proof of income okay when we talk about income this is totally flexible okay include also secondary income sources such as dividends you know rental interest rental uh, income interest income okay not just earn regular incomes so people talk about well you know income is should be earn regular income not my nine to five job yeah that's your primary income but you can also have a secondary income okay so big decision time boss big decision time have you updated your information your income data with uh, nfcu you have to if you haven't done so already i want you to go right now to a branch or i want you to pick up the phone and just tell them hey listen I'm making more money now than I was making a few years ago. Your income must be perfect. Your income must be updated if you want Navy Fed to pre-approve you for credit cards and loans for that matter. The third thing I want to talk to you about is your NFCU score, your internal score, Navy Fed internal score, okay? You want to keep a high Navy Fed internal score so you can boost your chances of receiving a prequal credit card offer. Now, some folks have actually talked to us uh, lately. They've, they've been talking to us about, well, the Navy Fed internal score is a one-time thing. It does not apply to all kinds of, uh, this is just, uh, you know, I mean, we have proof. I'm not going to get into details here, but uh, if you if you believe those who believe that Navy Fed the Navy Fed internal score is a one time thing, if you really believe that Navy Fed is going to develop a software program and only use it once, then you are out of your mind seriously. Because Navy Fed will spend millions of dollars on a tool and basically use it once. It doesn't make sense. On top of that, we have proof. We have hard facts that Navy Fed monitors members uh members of uh, credit worthiness and members uh statuses with uh, within the within the organization through the navy fed internal score so the bottom line here is that it is real it is not a one-time thing it is an ongoing recurring thing and the score oscillates from 100 to 450 okay and uh, you, you your goal as a navy fed member if you are trying to get credit card pre-approval offers you want to improve your navy fed internal score okay so you have uh you need to work on your credit utilization ratio in the last three months in the you know those three the, the rotating last three months you need to constantly improve your cur when we talk about improving your cur you need to reduce it okay with cur the cur works in a very uh an inverse relationship manner so same thing for tti so if your debt to income ratio is low your FICO score goes up, your, NF your NFCU internal score goes up. If your CUR is low, your NFCU internal score goes up, okay? And Navy Fed also pays attention to your length, to the length of your credit experience to actually assign an, a, an internal score to you. So the longer your credit experience, the higher you are, the higher number you will get, okay? They also pay attention to the, the ratio of accounts open in the last 24 months to all accounts. Basically, they're trying, to, they're trying to see if you are able to maintain a, a reasonable level of uh, indebtedness or if you are just living beyond your means, okay? So, here is the approach. The thing about Navy Fed internal score is that you don't know about it until you apply for a credit card or a loan and you get denied, okay? So, one thing, all you can do is uh, you just want to keep doing the right thing to improve it. So I'm talking about making sure that your FICO score goes up because there's a strong correlation between your FICO score and your Navy Fed internal score. So if you use your FICO score as a proxy for a Navy Fed internal score, that's a good proxy. 
So just work on your FICO score and your Navy Fed internal score will take care of itself. I want to talk to you about DTI. Boss, this is important. So if again, if you want to be pre-approved, if you want to receive a, a Navy Fed a credit card pre-approval offer, I want you to keep a low DTI as often as possible. Keep keep in mind that DTI is not a static thing. It is a continuing, it is a moving target, okay? So every month, I want you to monitor your DTI, your debt-to-income ratio. And debt-to-income ratio, I mean, this actually has only two components, right? You have your total debt payments, that's the numerator of the fraction, and then you have your uh, your income, your gross income, that's the, de the denominator of the fraction. So there are two components here. Those two components actually work in uh, in an inverse relationship, okay? So if you want to lower your DTI, you want to either reduce your, your debt payments or you want to increase your income. That's what it is, okay? And it's really important to understand that Navy Fed pays attention to your DTI because it tells them whether you are living within your means or you are just living beyond your means, okay? It's important. And they, you want to keep a DTI around 30 or 35%. Now, experts will tell you the lower the better. And that's what we say too. The lower the better so if you go to 20 percent or 20 or 15 percent if you're good enough to go in single digit that's just fantastic fantastic my hats off to you okay and because that's what you want anyway so your dti is very important and you want to increase your income systematically while lower you want while lowering that payments okay and but the, the best way to uh, to achieve this the best way to achieve all this is to live within your means, boss. Okay, don't you try to. I mean, people say, well, fake it till you make it. But hey, listen, you, you need to take care of your finances too. Because uh, if you have a bad FICO score or if you file for bankruptcy, you may not be here to, to actually make it. Okay, so it's all about sustainability. It's all about making sure that you have a life of financial discipline so you are able to live within your means. Okay, so here are a few pro tips for you. A few pro tips. If you want to increase your, if you want to reduce your DTI, you want to look for a side job, side gigs, okay? If you probably have now a nine to five job, you could probably just look for side gigs, maybe do something online or maybe do some babysitting or some uh, some pet sitting, whatever it is to, to generate extra cash, this could help, okay? And uh, but while doing that, you want to automate your debt payments. And every month you want to pay a little more than the minimum balance due on your on your loans okay this will help you actually uh, clear the loan faster and uh, reduce your dti and see you are for that matter faster i want to talk to you now about your nfcu credit see if you're trying to get navy fed credit card pre-approval offers you got to think about your you need to be current on all of all of your Navy Fed existing credit products. This is really important. A lot of people just make that mistake and say, you know, why am I not getting any credit card prequal offer? Well, because you because you are playing games with uh, Navy Fed when it comes to your existing liabilities. Okay, start from there. You know, you want to maintain a positive history of payments and repayments on your existing credit products. Okay, what are we talking about? Credit cards. For example, you want to limit your the, your current ownership of cars, you know, your, your card holdership to two. Don't you have a lot of, if you have more than two credit cards, they're not going to send you a credit card or a prequel offer. No, because they're trying to cover their ass. Navy Fed is trying to cover their ass to make sure that, hey, listen, they're not exposed to you too much. And this is really important and you got to understand that, okay? This is why we advise folks here to limit their cars to two and we know what we're talking about. We've been members of Navy Fed for more than 30 years, okay? We understand how the whole system works. All our team members have a deeper understanding of uh, how those credit products work, okay? And uh, so when we talk about Navy Fed uh, existing credit products, we are speaking about credit cards, of course. And when we talk about credit cards, we are speaking about Business credit cards and personal credit cards, though, okay? The same thing for lines of credit, okay? Personal lines of credit and business lines of credit. What about loans? Do you have exist? Do you have outstanding loan balances with uh, Navy Fed? Whether it is a car loan or personal loans or student loans or any type of loan, you got to be current, okay? And please make sure that you don't have any overdrafts. Very important. No overdrafts at all. So you want to make sure you have a positive liquid, some positive liquidity train 
or, or just say um, yeah positive liquidity trends in your bank in your checking accounts or savings account okay so when we talk about NMCU credit I want to say credit card credit card credit card are you current on your NFCU credits credit card are you are you making the payments every month are you actually paying more than the minimum balance due? are you paying everything or are you just paying something the bottom line is you want to keep a CUR your credit utilization ratio as low as possible very important as low as possible okay I'll be right back but after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. I'm still sharing with you Navy Federal credit card pre approval secrets. Nobody told you all those years, and I'm just spilling the beans today so you have a clear idea of what it takes to be pre qualified for a Navy Fed credit card, okay? And uh, now let's talk about your FICO score. I was talking earlier about your NMCU internal score, and I was just telling you there is an, a strong correlation between your FICO score and your NMCU score. There is. But so when we speak about FICO score, you want to maintain a, a FICO score as high as possible so you can boost your odds of a receiving a prequal offer. OK, so when we talk about FICO score in general, we pay attention to five things. But the most the, the, the first two things are very important. The first thing is your payment history. Everything starts from your payment history. OK, if you are financially financially disciplined and you have a routine of making your payments on time, all the time you are going to increase your FICO score like crazy I mean crazy okay and this is what you want anyway you want to have a history of uh, a positive history of payments that's very important so that accounts for about 35% of your FICO score okay then you have to think about your CUR your credit utilization ratio and again here we have uh, the higher the, your, your CUR the, the worse it is for you so you want to maintain a low CUR as low as possible if any okay and the CUR accounts for 30% so when you actually add 30% to 35% you have 65% which is nearly two-thirds of your FICO score think about it two-thirds of your, of your FICO score come from only two things payment history and CUR you also have to think about your credit inquiries very important okay don't you apply all the time you know for for credit cards and loans and lines of credit and whatnot no be strategic here you know you have to be a better planner this is very important what about your credit mix the mix of credit accounts for 10 percent okay so uh, your credit inquiries actually accounts for 15 percent but your credit mix accounts for 10 percent okay and also you need to think about the length of your credit history that will account for 10 percent also so the bottom line is here is that you have a constellation of things that make up your FICO score but the, the two most important ones are your payment history and your CUR so if you can take care of those two elements you should be on your way to having a high FICO score okay and if you have a high FICO score you um, by uh, by way of correlation you will have a high navy fed internal score and by the same uh, token of correlation you might have a high a high credit limits from um, a navy fed credit card or, or a high probability of having a navy federal credit card prequel offer sent to you the last thing i want you to focus on and this is the bonus okay this is a bonus I want to share with you is that uh, you want to tell NFCU you like to have a pre-approval offer yeah the thing is sometimes when you ask you'll be surprised at people what, what people give you you know if you're sitting there and just thinking you know what am I gonna get a prequel offer from Navy Fed and they never send it to you hey listen pick up the phone and just ask ask go to a branch and ask and just tell them hey listen I would love to have a prequel offer on this specific car because I really uh, it fits my spending patterns you know it, it's pretty great for it's pretty great for me and I make good money so sometimes you gotta ask okay you can ask at the branch or over the phone okay so you want to make it clear so that Navy Fed can put it in into their systems that you want to have a pre-approval offer on this specific credit cards okay and you want to ask about the conditions of pre-approval of pre-qualification 
always also always ask questions okay so you can get the right intel and start doing what you are what you can do to get the prequel offer that you need and uh, obviously get the the uh, the final uh, approval also okay and you want to follow instructions so when you speak to uh, an navy fed uh, rep credit card rep or a loan rep and they tell you the the instructions make sure that you follow you follow them this is important that way you are able to work within the parameters and you are able to be approved or pre-approved real fast okay and you always want to specify the card for which you would like a pre-qualification offer yeah i, I just said this but it's, it is really important if you don't specify chances are you might get a pre-qual offer on a card that you don't like or want Okay, and nobody wants to be in that in that situation. Nobody wants that. So the only way you can remedy that situation is by asking directly. Hey, listen, can I have a pre-qualification offer? Okay, and uh, here is this, the specific card or cards on which I'd like to have a pre-qual offer. Okay, so this is sh this should be good. And uh, so big decision time, boss. Big decision time. Have you spoken to Navy Fed about your pre-qualification uh, offer? Uh, I mean, do you currently have a uh, a pre-qualification offer from Navy Fed. If not, have you talked to, to them about that? Would you want to have that? If you want to have that, you need to make the uh, the decision to go to a branch or pick up the phone and have a, an honest conversation. Okay? And this is really, there's no way about it. There's no and no other way about it. Navy Fed is really busy. They're very successful. They're very busy. And it, unless you ask, sometimes the algorithm might quote-unquote forget you. Okay? Especially if you don't have stellar business or personal records in terms of your pay, in terms of the amount of cash that you actually uh, to you actually keep at Navy Fed, okay. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about Navy Federal credit card pre-approval secrets that nobody shares with you, okay. We have a direct deposit income. NFCU internal score, your DTI, your NFCU credit, your FICO score, and I give you a bonus into this conversation. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.